everyone welcome back to my channel today's video we have a massive book haul at least for me it's massive it might not be but for me it's pretty ridiculous it's pretty out there so before we get started don't forget um to subscribe to my channel also go ahead and turn on notifications so you guys can be updated every single time i upload and don't forget to follow me on social media i'll have my instagram right here on the screen for you guys and with that being said let's get right into the video i would like to point out that i'm not gonna go like pretty specific with plot details because first of all i haven't read the books and second of all i have just too many and we will be here for the rest of the day if i were to just go really specific on everything um so we're gonna try to rush through this um, and hope for the best. Also, a disclaimer, I would like to point out that some of these books I did get um, brand new, but then also some of them I got them pre-loved and I just feel really good about it because I did such an amazing job looking for pre-loved books in really good shape. So I wanted to point that out, but let's get started. Um, the first book that, well, actually, it's not the first book. I'm not going to go in order of, like, how I bought them because I don't even have any clue of how I bought them. But the first book that I got was Bunny. And I, I don't know much about this book. All I know is sort of a mysterious, weird type of book. So I think we're following this girl named Samantha. And she is an outsider in her small, um program at an elite New England university and then she kind of gets accepted with with these like cool girls and they call themselves the bunnies I think and she starts hanging out with them and kind of ignoring her other friends or friend singular I'm not sure and then um her new friends are kind of like weird and into some mysterious and maybe deadly things <laughs> so that's what this book's about. I don't know much, but I am excited to read it, and I really like the cover. So, I went ahead and got this. This is another one that I got pre-loved. So, really proud of myself, because it looks really nice. All right, let's, let's just go. Next one that I got is They Did Bad Things, and this one, I have no idea what it's about. Um, it's a psychological thriller. It's um, set in the 1995, and it says six university students moved into the house. Um, months later, one of them was found dead on the sofa one morning. So I guess we're gonna figure out who killed this guy. So yeah, don't really know much about it. Um, most of these books, I either add them to my card because someone recommended them on YouTube or because I saw like a good review on Goodreads. So it's a thriller. I'm all about the thrillers. So I love kind of mystery solving and murder stuff so that's great all right um another book that i got and this one i actually got it recommended through instagram i saw a video what is it a reel of someone is that what they're called now i don't know the tiktok version of instagram and someone was talking about this book and i really like that it um centers around romance and i love some like fantasy romance my favorite so apparently we are following a witch and a witch hunter what are the odds um who fall in love so i thought that would be really interesting um i don't know i love it i love the color i know i believe there's like two other books for these i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm pretty sure there's a sequel for it and i am sure i will like it and this is by shelby mahorin mahorin i let's just continue all right next book i got was horrid and i was really looking forward um, to this book for October of course I'm gonna be doing my TBR next so keep the lookout for that I'm kind of like behind on my videos but anyways so this is basically about this girl that goes back into the town her mom is from I believe and then once she gets there um, her mom starts acting very strange and in that house that they own in that town they realize or she realizes there's this door I think to the attic or something I'm not sure where it's headed oh the storage room and it has been kept locked forever and no one has ever gone in there and so I believe that she's going to try to get in there 
and see what's behind those locked doors so i don't know i think it's going to be an awesome kind of mysterious horror type of book and it's perfect for october so i was really looking forward to this as well so next up is a book that i see all over youtube and that is cemetery boys and this is um by aiden thomas and this is from what i've heard a male on male romance which is something i've never read about which is interesting um and it's basically about this guy <laughs> i don't know his name um yadriel and he becomes determined to prove himself a real brujo so a real um like warlock and um with the help of his cousin and best friend he performs a ritual um to bring back the ghost of his murdered cousin but accidentally he brings out this guy from his high school who passed away and he brings back the ghosts and i feel like there's going to be some romance there and it's going to be really good really like the idea behind it i just don't know how well it would be executed executed Ex is that even a word how it will be executed i think so i don't know but i love the color the, c the cover is precious look at that i'm so going to display it in my bookshelves love it so that is another book that i got next up i got really lucky actually because i got catherine house and they did bad things um pre-love for ten dollars like together in a bundle so that was awesome and i didn't want to get i've heard a lot of mixed reviews some people say it's awesome some people say it's horrible it has horrible goodreads reviews so i like i don't know what to think yet i really like the idea behind it and i feel like it's going to be a really good october read um this is basically about um this girl that gets accepted to catherine house and supposedly once you get accepted there you have to basically give up three years of your life to this house it's mostly like a cult type of thing i feel and then once you give up your three years um you know for the for those three years you will have to remain in catherine house without leaving and then you are guaranteed a successful career or a successful life and that is what i know about it but i have heard like i said mixed reviews some say it's extremely strange some people just don't like it yet i've also heard good things so i thought i will just give it a try myself so catherine house i will be reading it in october so i'm excited for this um lobisona um oh and this is by elizabeth thomas so yeah next up we have lobisona by romina garber and who did i hear talk about this i think it was i mix books and lala with alice in the bookland those youtubers i get them mixed up well one of them was talking about this book and to be completely honest i bought it because of the cover i thought it would look really really nice in my room um and i feel like it will be a good read who knows is this in my tbr for october i'm not sure i can't remember right now but this book is basically about manuela azul um and she feels um her exist what that she has been crammed into an existence that feels too small for her She's an undocumented immigrant who's on the run from her father's Argentinian crime family. And she is confined to a small apartment and a small life in Miami, Florida. Um, I bet she's probably going to be a wolf shifter or something. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know anything about this book. But the cover looks really awesome. And I've heard one good review, so... I bought it i'm sorry i just bought it all right the next book um that i got is by lucy foley and this is the guest list got this um pre-loved as well as you can see it says book of the month and this was not my book of the month for this month so i bought it pre-loved and this is just i think like a family drama type of book it's gonna be set in like a remote island and there's this wedding that is happening I'm sorry you guys can hear that my window is open because it is super hot in my room anyways 
so there's just like a bunch of secrets and it says that one of them has all kinds of motive to kill somebody else and someone is not leaving the island so someone's gonna get killed here and it's probably gonna be a mystery slash family drama um murder mystery and those are just up my jam is that is that even a thing those are just the books that i like i like being intrigued i like mysteries i like murder investigations so that is the next book i got all right um okay where are we at wow we're not even halfway next book that i got was the black kit and i believe this is centered around the 1992 riots in la so i think it's just really interesting i feel like it's a historical fiction and we are following this girl named ashley and she pretty much has an awesome cool life but once the riots happen, I believe that she starts being one of the black kids. So that's pretty much all I know about this book and it seems really interesting. I feel like I saw a documentary about the 1992 riots and riots, riots. And it seemed really interesting. So I love reading about this and being more aware of history. Okay, moving on. The next book I got pre-love is Wilder Girls by Rory Power and this is I want to say kind of a dystopian type book. I'm not sure from what I've read about it I feel like it's that way but it's basically about this all girls boarding school and a sickness um takes over or like a disease takes over the boarding school and so they're like basically quarantined in this boarding school and um her friend disappears i believe and she is set out to find out what happened to her best friend and um it seems that she's gonna find out mystery mysterious things along the way and maybe find out that they've been lying to her all along that's kind of what i think i don't know but it seems like something that would be up my aisle because i really really love dystopian books and stuff like that so that was another one book that i got is called burn our bodies down and it's also by rory power and i've heard a lot of good things on youtube about this book and it's just basically about this girl named margo and she basically has no answers of her family she has her mom but she's never really met anyone besides her mom and she really every time she asks questions nothing's really answered and she finds a photo and gives her kind of a hint of where her mom was raised at and so she kind of goes back there to investigate um all about her um family tree i guess and things are not what she seems to be and she finds out some really weird things and um that's all i know <laughs> not much so but i'm still excited about it next book i'm super super excited about so this is the inheritance games and i don't know who recommended it um but this is basically about this girl who finds out that she is the sole inheritor of 46.2 billion dollars and she is basically has to go to this house and do these inheritance games to win the money um and i believe she's going against the grandsons of the guy who left her all this money and i feel it's going to be kind of hunger games-esque where everyone's going to try to kill each other for the money so to me it seems like really good this is by jennifer lynn barnes i really like the story of it i think it's going to be super interesting and yeah the next book was actually my choice of book of the month and i heard awesome things about this it's about this is by frederick backman and this is anxious people and haven't heard much about it but i do know that it's good one and two i hear it's about a bank robbery going wrong and that is that's all i know about it but i heard it's very interesting and it just sounds different and i like the cover yeah all right next one is the three crowns and this one is basically um every so often i don't know every how many years this happens but always there's like triplets that are born and they are 
the queen so we're like the princesses i don't know but then one of them has to be the queen so basically we there's a story of three sisters um triplets trying to kill each other and see who's the last one standing and the last one will be the queen and it just seems like incredibly interesting and i just i like these type of good books and this is by candare blake and she's the author of anna dressed in blood which i've never heard about it but i'm really excited for this book it's something that i like next book that i got is ninth house by lee barlea lee no lee bardugo and this is uh set in yale and it's about like the secret societies in yale and we have our main character who is in a really bad position in her life but somehow she gets a free ride to Yale and she gets to join one of these secret societies and we're following her in these like mysterious societies and seeing how that works out so that's all I know about it I think this is gonna be one of my October reads but we'll see next book that I got is by the um, author of five feet apart which is Mickey Daughtry and Rachel Lippincott. I, I I don't know how to say this. I've actually never read Five Feet Apart, but I was on the pre-order list for this one, um, and so I got it, um, I believe, a few days ago. And um, it's about this guy who his girlfriend breaks up with him, and as they're coming back home, they crash. The girlfriend dies, and then he's going through the grieving process. And along the way, he falls in love with somebody else. Um, that's pretty much all I know about it. Like I said, I have not read Five Feet Apart. It is on my wanting to read. But I know it's going to be really sad, the Five Feet Apart one. So eventually, I will get to this to that one. But I don't know. I just thought this was really interesting. And I really liked Lydia Bird last month. And I feel like this is some... Sorry feel like this is um like in the same realm of things so I picked it up because I like these type of stories so got that um then I also got the night swim which I don't know much about um I got it pre-loved as you can see it's book of the month um all I know is she is kind of a pot I, I believe she runs a podcast I mean is it a she or a he I have no idea to she um and she runs a mystery podcast like solving murders she goes into this town and i believe there's like a mystery in that town to be discovered you know what i'm not going to go on because i have no idea what this book's about all i know is that she runs a podcast um yeah i believe the town wants her to want her help to figure out what happened to this like mysterious thing in the town i don't know I, it's a thriller it's mysterious i love murder mysteries how many times can i say that and that is by megan golden so um i'm excited for that one next up we have a contemporary romance which is my favorite again pre-loved everything that says book of the month is pre-loved um this is well met i've heard really good um reviews on this um it's just a romance i believe it takes place in a renaissance fair yeah and he's a teacher she's just in town for a couple of days and they're attracted and they flirt during the fair and that's all i'm gonna say because i have no idea what else to say all right next one is we were liars this has the best reviews on goodreads i feel like everyone that i've seen talk about this book loves it i will say i have absolutely no idea what it's about it doesn't really have a synopsis and to be completely honest i don't want to go and figure out what this is going to be about because i feel like it's going to be also kind of a mysterious type of book all it says is that we are all liars and it's called we were liars so i don't know what it's about but i feel like it's going to be a book that i really enjoy and i just rather go into it not knowing what it's going to be about so this is by e lockhart and yeah that, that's all i have to say next book that i got is the cruel prince now i'm not sure really what this book's about i know we're following um jude and she was left by her parents in um the palace and she has lived there her whole entire life and um 
she really just wants to belong to the palace um and there she has to defy the cruel prince and i think she's gonna fall in love with him not sure i'm hoping um but i don't know much i just know that um a lot of people recommend it on tiktok so i bought it because that's who i am and this is by holly black okay next book that i got is another kind of pre-loved book that i got in it. it's called um pretty girls um i think this is sort of a horror type thriller i'm not sure i don't know much about it i just heard it being recommended in one of the live discussions for home before dark and i was interested in it and this is by karen slaughter and like i said i don't know much so i'm not even going to try to go into it i rather um read the book without knowing um instead of like going and like looking what it's about so then i got one day in december by josie silver and this is the same author of lydia bird and you guys know i love the two lives of lydia bird and so i had to go ahead and get her other book this is i believe her first book and it has really good reviews and it's a romance it's basically about this gal what's her name Lori, and Lori sees this man one day in the bus they kind of like see each other they cross eyes and she just goes on the hunt to look for him for a year never finds him and then years go by she sees him again but this time he is the fiance of her best friend so that is just so cool <laughs> that's so interesting so um yeah I mean, I'm probably not going to read it anytime soon, probably for December, but I'm still really excited about it. All right, next up, we have One of Us's Line, which is basically about a murder in a high school. Apparently, this four people, I think it's six. How many people? One, two, three, four, five. So five students go into a detention room, things happen, we don't know what happens really, and then someone turns out dead. And it's just the mystery of who killed that student. And that's pretty much it. Mysterious, thriller, murder. That's what I like. So, yeah. Next up, we have Truly Devious. Um, and this one, I don't really know what this one's about. So it says, Ellington Academy is a, favorite pri it's a famous private school in Vermont founded by an early 20th century tycoon for the best and brightest students around. Um, when Ellington's wife and daughter were kidnapped, the only clue was a mocking riddle listing methods of murder signed with the frightening Poseidon truly devious. Um, okay, so, sorry. So it's about the student going to this very prestigious, prestigious, I can't speak today, I'm so sorry. So it's about the student going into this very prestigious school and she wants to figure out the cold case of the founders of the academy. And I've heard really good things and I wanted to pick it up. All right. Whew. We're down, we're down to two everyone. So the babysitter's coven, got it because of Halloween. Um, witches and their babysitters <laughs> yeah so you are gonna have to wait for my october tbr of what i think about that and last but not least this book is actually the one that i'm most excited about so i have been wanting to get into stephen king's books and i read somewhere that the best way or i saw a youtuber that said the best way to get to stephen king's books was by reading misery and i was gonna um, originally get this book on Amazon but they had the paperback version I really didn't like that version I really wanted this hardcover one and I found it pre-loved around a good deal I lowered the price by like five dollars so I pat on my back I'm really excited about that um, but it's basically about this author who writes about this like series of books he has and one day he's just so tired of writing about it that he just and said and I believe kills off the main character I don't know what he does and this lady basically kidnaps him and is like determined she's like her biggest fan she is determined to change the ending and she's like you're gonna stay here until you change the ending of this book series that I am so passionate about and 
I don't know, I just love the storyline of it. And I'm very passionate about books as well. And I get... Ooh, it's okay. And I get really, really mad when they kill off my favorite characters or something bad happens and so i can kind of relate to her except i'm not like this violent person that is going to go and kidnap an author but it it's interesting so yeah this is um a book that i'm going to be really reading ugh, really soon can't speak i think it's the heat you guys i don't know what it is all right you guys i have to go i'm like in a hurry i'm already late um thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed my book haul i'm so excited for all my books um did i miss any no no we're good um and i hope to see you guys in my next video bye